In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to polar coordinates. So polar coordinates give us an alternative way to describe the position of a point in 2D space. And for polar coordinates, we need two things. We need the distance from the pole. You might be wondering what the pole is here. And the pole is just what we know as the origin when we're working with polar coordinates. And we also need the angle that's measured anti-clockwise from the initial line. And again, you might be wondering here what the initial line is. So the initial line, which is what we know as the x-axis. Okay. So to begin with here, let's just plot a point with Cartesian coordinates. So we'd have the y-axis here. And we'd have the x-axis. Okay. Let's say I want to plot the point here x, y. Okay. Let's say that's there. This is the point x, y. Where x units are long and where y units up. Okay. So y units up and x units are long here. Okay. So, like we just mentioned here, we need two things. We need the distance from the pole which we just know as the origin here. And we also need the angle that's measured anti-clockwise from the initial line. So when you're looking at a problem that's dealing with polar coordinates, the diagram will look slightly different here. So what it will look like in a traditional polar coordinates problem will be something like this. Like we said, the x-axis here is what we know as the initial line. This is the initial line. And this line here is theta equals pi over 2. Okay? And the origin here is what we know as the pole. Okay? So, at this point here now, how would we describe this here with polar coordinates? Well, in polar coordinates, this point here, x, y, would be r theta. Okay? So, r is the distance from the pole. And then theta here. That's the angle that's measured anti-clockwise from the initial line. And we can easily convert between Cartesian coordinates and polar coordinates. So, using this diagram here, what can we understand here? Well, like we said, this line here, this must be R. This must be the distance from the um, pole here. So this is R. And this angle here, that's measured anti-clockwise from the initial line, that would be phi. Okay, so using just basic applications here of Pythagoras and trigonometry, we can denote a few things. What we can say here then, is using this diagram then, r squared here would be equal to x squared plus y squared, just basic Pythagoras. Therefore, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And then clearly from here, we can obtain r. In that case, then, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's the square root of x squared plus y squared. And then we can see here that theta would be arctan of y over x. Okay. We've also got theta equals arctan, or tan inverse, of y over x. y over x there. And now just using trigonometry here, we can define x and y. So x in this case would be r cos theta. So r cos theta is equal to x. And then r sine theta would be equal to y. Okay. And there we have it. So that's everything that we need there for our introduction to polar coordinates. Not, we're not going to take a look at any questions for this video. Um, like I said, this is just the introduction here to polar coordinates. So that brings us the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at sketching polar curves.